Hey, hon. Yeah? What do you feel like for dinner tonight? Pizza? No. Chinese? Not really. Subs? Yeah. Steak and cheese? Yeah. You want me to call it in? No, you got to make it. I got to make it? Yeah, yours is the best. Of course you got to make it. Yeah, you're right. Let's get to it. So I'm taking some of this pre-sliced pepperoni. I'm gonna add this to it too. This will give it a little flavor, a little spice. So I'm just gonna slice them up like that. Okay, so we got mushroom, garlic, onion, got some bread, got some shaved beef over there next to the stove, some seasoning, we got some cheeses, so let's get to the stove top and uh, saute some of this stuff. I've got the pan preheated uh, on medium, medium high. So uh, we're gonna saute the mushrooms first and try to get some of the, the water out of there. So just a little bit of olive oil. Okay, get the mushrooms in there. Okay, we're gonna add a little bit of salt to them just to draw out some of the water. Stir here. Okay. See, look how nice that looks. Beautiful. So let's get these off. Gonna go with the onions and the garlic. A little bit more olive oil. Garlic on top of it. Okay, we're gonna saute that for a few minutes until they soften. Then we'll get to the next step. Two rolls, two sub rolls here. We're just gonna. Just gonna cut them down the middle, not all the way through. If you go all the way, it's not a big deal. Okay, I'm going to open them up. Okay, and usually what I do is I usually gut a little bit of it, get some of this bread out of here. way we don't have too much bread going on. I'd rather have the stuffing. All right, so I'm gonna go with some mayonnaise. And spread that around. We're gonna bake this in here so it's gonna give it a nice flavor as it soaks in to the bread before we get any of the stuffing on there. Now we're gonna get it to my tray here, like this. So we're gonna get this into the uh, oven right now. I just used the broiler part where the flame is on the top. Just gonna melt this down a little bit and uh, toast up the, the bread just a little bit, just for a minute or two. So you wanna keep an eye on it. All right, so let's take a look at these onions now. Onions and garlic, you wanna make sure you're not burning them. So you wanna go, I'm gonna keep stirring until they get Translucent, we're almost there. Another minute or so. Let's 
So let's take a look at the bread and make sure we're not burning it. Okay, beautiful. Look at that. So I'm just going to slide this here for now. So I got some mozzarella cheese and some Swiss cheese that I'm going to add to the top of this to let it melt down a little bit before we get the rest of it together. Okay, so it's just got some thinly sliced Swiss cheese. I'm gonna let that sit uh, a little bit on that uh, hot bread. It'll start melting a little bit when we get the meat uh, on top of it that I'm gonna be I'm gonna be cooking here in a second. Uh, we'll put that on top, throw it in the oven again. So uh, first, let's get these onions and pepperoni into the mushroom mix for now. Okay, just put that aside. And that's going to stay warm right there. So now we're going to crank up the heat a little bit here. I'm going to add this shaved steak. This. Okay, we're just going to add that on here. All right, so I'm just going to break it up a little bit. Okay. Just so we get some nice color in there. So. Just going to spread that out, that, get that heat cranking, add a little bit of pepper here, and instead of some salt, we're going to add this spicy Italian style sprinkle. Okay, it's got all these seasoning in it. Mm -hmm. Remember that this has got a little bit of spice in it, so. Go light if you don't like it spicy. I'm also going to add some Worcestershire sauce. Just a little bit to give it flavor. Get the heat cranking and all I'm doing is tearing into it and making it nice, nice and small the pieces or little strips. Give it that nice texture. Okay, we're just going to give this a, another minute just to make sure we get it fully cooked. Then I'm going to add all the sautéed vegetables with the uh, pepperoni in it on top and mix it up. Get the mushrooms and the onions in there. Okay, just give it a little, little bit of a toss. Okay, I'm putting the cheese right on the bread, like that. Okay, Get some more in here, like that, and like that. Okay, let me just get my columns here. So now we're just gonna take this mixture here, move this over. Start stuffing the sandwiches. Like that. And what I'm doing here is I'm actually squeezing out any of the, the liquid like that so it doesn't get too soupy. I don't like soggy sandwiches. All right, for the last step here. Just gonna add some more mozzarella cheese. Now, if you have slices, works a lot easier with the slice, but didn't have any today because this is kind of a spur of the moment kind of thing. So I'm just gonna add the cheeses here. Just gonna press that down a bit. I've got the broiler on low and I'm going to slide this in until the cheese gets nice and melted. Let's get that in there and slide that in like that. Close the door and you definitely want to sit here with it about a minute, minute, maybe two at the most before it starts really uh, burning. So I'm going to sit here, keep an eye on it and pull it out just when it's melted. 
Okay, here we go. Beautiful. Nice and toasted. Let's close that up. All right, so I've got the subs here. I'm just going to take some of this aluminum foil. Look at that. That's beautiful. Okay, a couple of large sheets of aluminum foil. I've got some of this basil from the Aero Garden there. It's going to give it a nice sweetness. And I'm just going to chop some up top there, just hack it away just to get it on, on the cheese. What I do next is I, I take the, the subs and I wrap them. Let them sit for a couple of minutes. So this is a good time to give it a cut like that. Over like this. Back it here. There, get it back onto the hot tray. Next one. Here. I just let them sit for about a minute or two just to kind of absorb all the juices and get all that cheese all melted in within the uh, sandwich. Clean some stuff up and we'll give it a taste. You wanted a steak and cheese made by your everyday Joe. Here it is. Let's open it up. See if it's what you wanted. Look at that, huh? Looking yeah, yeah. good. And it's oh. Mmm. Let's see if it's everything you expected. I'll give it a taste first. Mmm. Well, it's everything I expected. Oh, so this is what we're having for dinner. Your Everyday Joe's version, steak and cheese. 